This one was sent in by Krista Whalen. Thank you, Krista. It's by hey, Yahoo Krista. Answers user Mr. Toucan, who asks, What if everything was shaped like a penis? <laughs> what if everything in the world was shaped like a penis? Buildings, buses, cars, shoes, fridges, etc. Would women like that? Uh, I have news for this guy. Maybe you haven't looked at his skyline recently. Everything is shaped like a penis. Mm-hmm. It's a man's world. <laughs> penis has a tiny radio antenna coming out of the top of it. So that's yes, right. I would like to to pick um, up all the vibes. The ladies. I would like to now. hear this guy's question as if he and his friends often like use the phrase, you know. Everything shaped like a penis, and he's like, "What if everything was? What if shaped literally like a penis? everything? What if I was reading this question off a penis-shaped computer? That's just not the, that's not the best viewing experience. I feel. Oh, like. No, you, also, I how would a, you give directions to anybody? Just like, take a turn left at the yeah, penis thing. I'll meet you by the cock. Like, I don't know. I don't know which one because everything you're shaped. No, like no, a penis. the veiny one. Yeah. <laughs> I think my my favorite uh, misconception about this is that women are walking around every day wishing everything was shaped like a penis. <laughs> Man, I, wish, I sure wish I could see some penis-shaped things today. <laughs> right. If only this cell phone was shaped like a penis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> only this dog biscuit was shaped like a penis. Although I bet there are probably some angry women somewhere that have penis-shaped dog biscuits. Mm-hmm. You know, it would help to lend a, 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 just an extra air of whimsy to the poster for Shaft. <laughs> I just think, like, wow, that's a ex- they went really with the extra mile. But this this man wasn't thinking laterally, laterally. He wasn't thinking about. He wasn't big, thinking across all the different possibilities. You've got to think about the big picture. We're talking about literature. We're talking about trying to read a book, but the pages are in the shapes of dicks. Right. So you get like two words, three words, three words, three words, and then like ten words. This is the balls. What if this was like a fucking it's Twilight like, Zone like, episode, and even the words were shaped like this? Exa- oh. Travis, this is every... We would have <laughs> to invent a new language where the every book. character was a dick. So you're saying like the, it, bo- the book, too, would be shaped like a penis, you mean? That's what I'm saying. It would dick be like, pages. Eat, eat, pray, love, hide it when the kids come in the room. Like, yeah. So like, basically what it is is this is a guy who has spent his life, I don't know, killing dicks or something, or just like making fun of dicks, and then he wakes up one day and he's shaped like a dick, and everything's shaped like a dick, and the books are shaped like dicks, and the words are shaped like dicks, yeah. and like his breakfast is shaped like dicks, and he's just in the middle of town square spinning around the dick-shaped town square screaming, dicks! Yeah. And then a dick-shaped ghost comes up and is like, shouldn't have killed all those dicks. What? What are you Twist. talking about? Killing dicks? And then it pulls out to vagina-shaped scientists saying, shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite episode. Twist. You know, uh, do you know that Leonard Nimoy directed that episode? A, lot, a little trivia. I later. could tell. It had a lot of his signature uh, uh, signatures dicks. on it. A lot of signature dicks. <laughs> a lot of his signature dicks in it. <laughs> Can yeah. I? A dick-shaped lens on a dick-shaped TV? Is that what we're doing? Is that a dick-shaped filter? Mm-hmm. I could really tell. Put it on channel Dick Dick. Because the numbers are dicks, too, people. <laughs> oh, God! Um, I think that this man's main point is, um, is fallacious and that is that uh, women would like it because I think that after a while it wouldn't be like if every letter in the alphabet looked like a dick then when I got a special woman in the bedroom and showed her my treasure she'd be like yep like so (laughs) what if everything was dick shaped except dicks yeah and your dick was shaped like a sitar, maybe, or uh, another. <laughs> Sitar's kind of well, like a little bit. What if it was like you could choose it? Like, you know, maybe you want it to look like, you know, a clownfish. I don't know. It's up to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah, wait, are they not supposed to look like clownfish? <laughs> I have to go to the doctors. My, All the uh, doctors now. Doctor, doctor, my, uh, my treasure looks like Nemo, and <laughs> it's not supposed to. Can you, um, Use all your dick tools that are all shaped like dicks. Get it from your dick shaped bag. <laughs> Get me the nine sixteenth dick, nurse. Yeah. <laughs> God, surgery Give would be me. awful, wouldn't it? Give me that super. No, the Phillips dick. head dick. It was <laughs> Phillips head dick. This is a flathead dick. Like Dick Tracy. <laughs> what? Gumshoes. All the Dick Tracy villains would be dick shaped. 
mm-hmm. dighead. That's why this is my my rose gallery. Dighead, penis face, <laughs> rod pants. Like <laughs> this is and mumbles, mumbles. This is. Um, I hope that this is the first episode our grandmother listens. To. <laughs> yeah, I heard what you said. I heard those things. Don't I try heard to... those things about the dick, the dick world. Thank- Thanksgiving is ruined, boys. That's my favorite series of uh, fantasy novels. What Dick World? Yeah, they. Uh, yeah, I, I really liked the most recent one. I don't have a punchline. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a great sign that I need to move on to the next question.